we're going to go over the module Internship Coding Practice. So each week you're going to see a different title. Uh, whatever week we're in, you'll see a corresponding um, title. So for example, week one is module one. If you click on this hyperlink, it's actually going to open you up to the practice. You're going to click begin. Then you're going to enter your name, or you can just enter initials. You're going to see two things here, modules and reports, which will take you to the corresponding cases that you will practice for that week, and you'll also see a help button. You'll see this help button throughout the internship, and it just gives you helpful tips that you can review, or if you forget how to do something, um, this is always available to you. I'm going to click on modules and reports. Whatever week you're in, you're going to click on that particular module. So for example, if I was in week one, I can only access week module one. If I was in week two, I could only access the module two. So I'm going to click on module one, and then it's going to show me three different practices. You can take these in any order that you want to because it's just for practice. Notice down here that we have a little I button, and this is going to give you further directions. So if you forget, um, it also notes that your answers will not be saved when you ex exit this practice. So one thing I would recommend, as you're going through the internship, nothing will save. So if you're in the middle of a case or you completed one case, I would recommend that you jot down the answers that you have so you can quickly input them in um, the internship when you come back. So I'm going to click on the first case. Then over to the left, you're going to see the report. You can also click on here to see the full report. So this is what you're going to start coding from. And I can just hit the X to get out of it. Notice here we still have this little I at the bottom. And again, it just tells you that um, there may be five codes to be assigned in the code set. For the practice, you will use the provided spaces. But then when you go to submit your answers, it will give you the full list. Notice here, we also continue to have our help button in case we need any helpful tips. So you'll go ahead and start entering your CPT codes, any corresponding modifiers that may go along with that, and then units would be for any HICS PICS 2. Um, if you have a HICS PICS 2 you're assigning, you would assign the number of units. And then over to the right would be your ICD-10 codes that you would enter. Um, if you hit Submit Answers, It's going to give you the answers to the case. If you click here for full rationale, it will actually give you rationale behind the code selections. So it's going to be very specific on where you need to look um, and just to justify um, the correct answers. So once I've completed this, I can go to click to return to the main menu to go to the next case, and then I would just continue on. Again, this does not save, so if you are um, get distracted and you have to get out of it, just jot down your answers, um, and then you can quickly put them back in.